friends now i chosen the topic which is related to light rays so coming to our title behavior of certain light rays when they are incident on lenses so from this title we can say that we are dealing with the topic whenever the light rays falls on the lenses what happens what happens when the light rays falls on the lenses we will see the topic so before going to the topic few points i want to share about convex lens and concave lens that is a point c for drawing in ray diagrams related to lenses we represent convex lens with the symbol the symbol c following symbol and the concave lens with the symbol this see the following figures so this convex symbol and the concave symbol this is called as the shortened symbols next coming to our figures this is the convex lens so whenever the convex lens the light is passing to the convex lens after the refraction they will converge towards the principal axis coming to the concave lens whenever the rays which is passing through the concave lens after the after the refraction they will be diverging this is the point c in the convex lens important points once check this in the convex lens the rays will get converge after refraction in the concave lens the rays will get diverge after the refraction so the points the important points on the principal axis that is c f p so that c indicate that it's center of curvature f indicates that focal point p indicates that pole so coming to our topic that is behavior of light ray when it passes through a lens at certain following situations so i have taken different situations where the light ray is passing so let's go to the first situation that is situation 1 ray passing along the principal axis so whenever the ray it is passing along the principal axis what happens we will see any ray passing along the principal axis is undeviated so the ray which is passing along the principal axis will not deviate so that is the case in figure 1 the light ray it is passing along the principal axis see this is the principal axis so the ray is not at all deviating it is going along the principal axis next same for the concave also so this is the concave symbol in the concave also the light ray which is passing along the principal axis will not deviate next situation 2 ray passing through optic center so in this case what happens whenever ray it is passing through the optic center what happens optic center p it is c whenever it is passing through the optic center what happens so any ray passing through optic center is also undeviated so from this point we can say that the ray which is passing it may be the convex or concave the ray will not deviate whenever it is transferring along the optic center this is the case next note so i have taken note for this points that is the center of the curved surface is called pole so whatever the convex or concave the center of the lens it is taken as pole next the line that joins the center of curvature and the pole is called principal axis so whatever the line which is joining center of the curvatures towards the pole this is called principal axis in the case of convex also same the line which is joining the center of the curvatures along with pole this is called principal axis coming to next situation 3 the situation 3 it says that rays traveling parallel to principal axis so whenever the rays which are traveling along the principal axis what happens we will see the rays passing parallel to principal axis converge at the focus or appear to diverge from the focus as shown in the figure 5 and 6 so for this rays parallel passing parallel to the principal axis i have taken two figures that is figure 5 and 6 let's go to the figures that is rays see the rays once check the diagram diagrams are important see according to the diagram the rays are traveling parallel to the principal axis but after coming to the refraction part after the lens see they are converging at the convex converging towards the focal point in the convex lens next coming to the concave lens see the rays are diverging that is the situation see the rays are passing parallel before the refraction but after refraction they are getting diverge this is the case so next i will say shortly seen whenever the rays are traveling parallel to the principal axis after the refraction so after the refraction means after the lens they will be converging in the convex and they will be diverging in the concave go for the fourth situation rays passing through focus so what happens when the rays are passing 
through the focus so light rays obey the principle of least time so least time this is the principle that whenever the light will always choose the least possible time to reach its destination so this is the principle of light next can the rays passing through the focal focus will take a path parallel to principal axis after refraction so as a ray which is passing along the principal axis will has the least time so always after the refraction they will take the parallel to the principal axis so let's see the figure we will understand with clarity that is figure 7 and 8 so the rays before the refraction means before the lens they are different in different angle c in the case of convex and in the case of concave but after refraction they are parallel to principal axis in the two situations that is the case see the point hence the ray passing through the focus will take a path parallel to principal axis after the refraction this is the point so the rays will take after the refraction parallel to principal axis in the both concave and the convex in the both the lenses the rays after the refraction they will take parallel axis along the parallel rays with respect to principal axis next what about the rays see the question is same i have taken one question what about the rays which passing at some angles so we have taken the rays which are traveling along the principal axis or through the principal axis or through the optic center but what about the rays which are any other angles so i have taken some rays see these are the rays which are traveling through convex and concave let's see the point after the point i will explain total when a parallel rays makes making an angle with principal axis fall on a lens as shown in figure 9 and 10 the rays converge at point or appear to diverge from a point lying on the focal plane focal plane is the plane perpendicular to principal axis at the focus okay friends for this total i will explain same see i have taken a focal plane in this case the rays they are making parallel angle c the rays all are parallel so after the refraction as it is convex they will get converged we know the convex lens are used to convert the rays next this converging is taken on the focal plane focal plane is a plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis next coming to the concave the rays which are parallel before the before the refraction they will get diverge after the refraction so this is the case the simple point whatever the rays which are passing with some angles towards the lens towards the lens it may be the convex lens or concave lens according to the convex property the lens after the refraction they will get converged but coming to concave according to concave the rays it may be anything the rays after the refraction through concave they will get diverged this is the case